Today, we're gonna create a rotating social media animation for under your webcam. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today, we're gonna create something that has been requested in my Discord and down in the comments a ton and it is just a basic social media animation that can sit underneath your webcam when you're streaming it's got your twitter maybe your instagram your youtube and it just kind of rotates through each of your handles each of your social medias and just shows all of them so people can go follow now a lot of people do this inside of like stream elements but today we're going to be building it inside of after effects so it's a completely done file exported that you can just bring into obs have it sitting under your webcam and you are done and we're going to build that inside of after effects i'm going to show you exactly how to do it but if you guys are interested in learning how this is created and learning how to create it inside of after effects so you can create your own custom one i'm also going to provide a template and i'll show you how to get that and how to use it at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that but we're going to go ahead and get started but before we get into it make sure you check out my partner link down in the description for placeit.net to get 15 percent off a subscription that will give you unlimited downloads for all sorts of overlays and animations for your youtube channel your twitch streams and they are completely editable and customizable without a single piece of software you don't don't need After Effects, you don't need Photoshop, you don't need Premiere, you don't need any kind of program. You can do it entirely inside their website with smart templates. You can get custom overlays for your Twitch. You can get custom animations for your YouTube channel, end cards, intros. It's incredible. Make sure you check it out if you don't want to dive into programs and do it. You just want to do it all inside of their smart templates. So check that out in the description for 15% off a subscription over there. But without further ado, let's jump into After Effects and build a rotating social media animation for underneath your webcam in your stream. Dreams. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. This is a completely blank project here. We don't even have a composition yet, but we do have an Instagram logo, a Twitter logo, and a YouTube logo in here ready to go. That's all I've done. I've just imported those. So we're gonna hit new composition. We're gonna leave it 1920 by 1080 and just go ahead and hit okay. And we're gonna kind of just fly through this as quick as possible just so we can get through the video. I don't want you guys to just have to sit here forever. So we're gonna go ahead and just type out what we want. We're gonna click the text tool and type out Bravity M because that's what my handle is on pretty much everything, and you can type out whatever your handle is. So we're gonna leave the text just like that. That is Montserrat in uh, black italic. It's a really nice font, but we're gonna go ahead and grab this tool here and make sure our anchor point is right in the center, just like that. Once we have done that, we are going to begin to animate this right away. So we're gonna animate it in 3D, and the way you do that is by hitting this little cube down here. If you don't see that, you can go to columns, right click up here, go to columns, and make sure you turn on switches. So once you turn on switches, you'll see this little box here, and you can click that, and you get a little cube inside the box. That means your layer is now 3D, and we can animate this. So we want it to kind of rotate in from the top almost kind of like a slot machine so the way we're going to do that is hit this drop down arrow go to transform and we want to set the keyframes for position and for x rotation so x rotation is the one that's going to do this it's the one that looks really nice in 3d just like that so what we're going to do is we're going to move forward um let's say like 75 ish frames just like that and we're going to add two more keyframes here and this is our end position where we want it to be so at the beginning we want it to rotate just like this up like that and we want to go negative 90 so it's completely flat just like that and then we actually want to move the position up a little bit just like that so it looks like it comes in from the top and down like that almost like a slot machine beautiful and now if we play it forward you see we get a pretty cool animation just like that that's a little slow we might adjust it here in a minute but before we do that i'm going to select all of our keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and then we're going to go into our graph editor like always and we're going to apply a nice little graph change like that beautiful this is just gonna make the animation start out a little bit quicker and then end a little bit slower. So the graph is shown it's gonna start quick and then it's gonna ease out just like that. So here we go, let's play this again. There we go, that's actually not too bad. That's not too slow now that we've added the graph edits. So there we go, just like that. We're gonna move it forward a little bit and I'm actually gonna cut off the beginning so that we don't see it when it's all flat up there. So beautiful, just like that. Now we need to add when it goes out. So we're gonna have it last for a little while, maybe like that long there. So let's go ahead and copy our keyframes and paste them there. So we wanna move forward about the same amount that we did over here. So we're gonna move in about like that far. And now we need to do the keyframes to plus 90. So we want negative 90 over here at the beginning. Now we're gonna go to just regular 90 so it goes flat again. And then this time we need to move our position down about the same amount. So here we go, here's our animation. It's gonna come in like that. 
and then it's going to stay for a little bit and then it should go out the exact same way down below but it looks like we need to adjust our uh just our graph here a little bit yeah so there we go that one is not adjusted so we need to adjust this graph to be about the same as the other one at the beginning let's go ahead and move it here just like that beautiful so now let's see the animation comes in beautifully and then leaves the exact same way that is perfect now we just want to cut that off when it goes completely flat so right about there we're going to go ahead and end the animation i hit Control shift d to slice the layer just like that and then we can just delete the rest of it so there we go we got gravity unfolding in just like that and then we've got it leaving in the exact same way beautiful we've got a perfect animation so now what we can do is we can duplicate it and we can begin to line it up to where one will come in right after the other i almost nailed it right there but let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit this one can maybe come in a little bit sooner so let's see nope too soon let's have it come in like that maybe there we go that's not bad so let's go ahead and play this now and perfect so now let's see how far these keyframes are apart so let's go to the end of this first animation and let's count the frames before this keyframe so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so 22 keyframes the reason i counted that is because we need to duplicate this again and we need to match that timing down here so now we're going to go to the end of this one we're going to count out 22 keyframes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and now we can place this keyframe here and just like that we've now should have the exact same animation down here for the third one exactly perfect so there is our text completely done we've now got three social media handles rotating in inside of after effects in 3d now we just need to add in the social media logos so we're going to go ahead and pre-compose all of our text here by selecting all of them right clicking go to pre-compose and we're just going to call it text hit okay so now we've just got it in one layer that we can move around so let's bring in our twitter logo first we're gonna go ahead and make it to where the text is on screen so that we can scale this down to look pretty close to the same size so there we go let's go ahead and get it lined up and now let's put the bird over to the left side of our text just like that perfect that looks pretty good right there and now we can go ahead and line both of these up in the middle so i'm going to go ahead and turn on my safe margins by clicking this and turning on the uh, title and action safe that's going to help me line it up a little bit so let's go ahead and grab our text and our bird and let's go ahead and get these perfectly centered up as close as we can so that is pretty close to being centered right there good enough for this because we're going to be able to move it around inside of obs once we finish animating anyway but we're going to go ahead and turn off our title action safe and now it's time to begin to animate the bird so the way we're going to animate the bird is we just want to have it come down from the top and just come out of nowhere so what we're going to do is at the beginning we're going to go ahead and set a keyframe for our twitter bird by hitting the position keyframe we're going to move forward about 50 frames we're going to set another position keyframe and once again this is our ending frame so we need to go back to the beginning and move this bird up and out of the way like that but now you can see the bird just kind of comes down there's no uh it doesn't get revealed by anything so we're going to fix that here in a second but first let's do our keyframe adjustments here easy ease we'll make our graph look like this to get a nice clean looking animation there we go our bird looks a lot better now just coming in like that so the way we're going to make our bird come out of nowhere is by using track mats now this is kind of getting a little bit advanced but it's really simple if you just watch this very carefully and just do exactly what i do so create a new solid it can be any color you want does not matter and what we're going to do is we're just going to position this solid to be where we want our logo to disappear so anything behind this solid is going to disappear so if we place it up here just like this you'll see the logos there but when the logo goes behind it it's going to disappear and the way we're going to do that is we're going to make sure that the solid is directly above the twitter layer so we got twitter layer and then we got the solid directly above it and then you'll see this little track map button here this track map column you want to change it from none on the twitter layer to alpha inverted mat and now you'll see that the red solid disappears and now we've got the twitter bird just disappearing into the darkness behind that solid but the solid is missing if we change it to transparent you'll see that the twitter bird just comes out from behind nothing that is how you use track mats to make things come in out of nowhere so now we've got the bird coming in animating in with our text there looks pretty freaking cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to make it switch to the instagram logo so we need to wait till the gravity m gets to do its animation and right when it's about to do its animation we're going to add a position keyframe we're going to move forward a couple frames just like that maybe and we're going to go down and then we're going to go forward a few more frames and then we're going to go and copy this keyframe and paste it again just like that so now we've got the bird going whoop, whoop down up 
Perfect. Now we need to grab the Instagram logo. It is time to grab the Instagram logo. We're going to put it above the solid. Make sure you don't put it between these two layers or you'll break that track mat. So we need to grab the Instagram logo. We're going to drop the Instagram logo in here. Go ahead and move it around here. Get it in about the same spot as the Twitter logo, just like that. Beautiful. And now we need to copy this exact animation that we just did. So let's go ahead and drop down into the Instagram logo, transform position. We're going to move forward to this position, go down with the Twitter bird, go forward to the next position, and then copy our original position to that place there. But you'll see we've got the easy ease going on here on the Twitter one. So we need to copy that on the Instagram. So let's go ahead and click that easy ease go into the graph editor and let's add our nice little swoop to match the Twitter one just like that just like that and now these should move together there you go you see the Instagram and the Twitter look like they are just locked together perfectly so now what we can do is on this middle keyframe we just want to hold down control shift D to split the Instagram layer and chop off the beginning of the Instagram layer and do the control shift D on the Twitter layer and we're gonna chop off the end of the Twitter layer so now at the bottom of that keyframe you see it switches to Instagram so now we've got boop boop Bloop, bloop. So it does the exact same animation, so it nicely transitions between the two logos, but we have it cutting and changing down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and fit this to screen real quick and play our animation. Bloop, bloop. And that's pretty much it. So we've got the Twitter logo coming in with the text just like that. Then we've got it switching to the Instagram logo, boop, boop, just like that. I'm not going to show you the third one because it's the exact same thing. You just grab that YouTube logo, you'd bring it in, you'd scale it in the right spot, you'd match the position keyframes, and then you just cut the layers at the bottom of the animation, and boom, it switches over to the YouTube logo at the exact right time for the text to just kind of roll around, and then it's showing your YouTube channel. But there you go. You've got a very simple social media animation. Once you have that completely done, you could just go ahead Ahead and set your key or your in and out points to do your uh, export and once it's time to export you're gonna go up to composition add to render queue when you go to export it you want to export it as a QuickTime. so change the format from AVI to QuickTime from RGB to RGB plus alpha you need the alpha layer to have a transparent background if you don't have the alpha layer then it's just gonna have a black background you want to make sure you change the output to right here where it says comp one to whatever you want save it wherever you want name it whatever you want and you can just hit render and you are done you can bring this QuickTime file directly into OBS if you would like but you can also take that file that you exported and maybe convert it to a WebM so it's not as taxing on your OBS there's a bunch of WebM converters. I've covered it on this channel before, how to convert things to WebM. You can actually also install a plugin for Adobe Media Encoder to export WebM directly out of After Effects. I'd highly look into doing that as well so you uh, can export it directly out of here and not worry about any online converters. But that is how you make a rotating social media animation. For those people who didn't want to create this, you don't want to know how to create this from scratch, you just want the template, we're going to cover how to use the template right now. So here we are inside of the template. When you download it, it's going to look like this. You can download it in the link in the description. And once you open it up, once you extract it and open it up, it's going to look just like this. You've got two compositions. You've got final render and text. You'll see the final render is pretty much the animation we just created inside of After Effects. You see when it gets to the end, it's going to go bloop. It's going to switch over to Instagram. And then once it switches over to Instagram, it's going to go bloop. And it's going to switch over to YouTube. And then once the YouTube one ends, you'll see that it'll, they'll both just kind of leave and then after a little bit the animation will start over and you can have this all underneath your webcam just like that inside of OBS just restarting so what you're going to want to do is you want to change the text so right here you see there's another composition called text and you see you've got your three layers of text here you got the first one you got the second one and you got the third one and to change these you just grab your text tool up here and you can change these to be whatever you want so if your name is John Twitch, <laughs> John Twitch 12. There you go. But then on uh, Instagram, you're actually John, John T 21. But then on YouTube, Johnny 69. There you go. See, you change all those. When we go back to here, you'll see that all these are updated. Your Twitch is there, John Twitch 12. Then you got your John 21 for your Instagram. And then you got your Johnny 69 for your YouTube channel. So there you go, you can change them all to be whatever you want, just that easy. And then if you wanna change the color of your text, you go back into the text layer and you can change it just like text inside of After Effects. When you select it, you come over here to your uh, your character and you can just change the text, bam, just like that. Super easy. If you wanna change the text of the social media icons, you can do that as well. You'll see that I've got them filled to be all white. So if you come down here, you'll see you got your Twitter one, you got your Instagram one, you got your YouTube one. When you click on these and go to the effects controls, you'll see we've got a fill tab here. 
here that's all changed to white. You can change these fills to be whatever color you want. So if we change the Instagram one to be uh, blue, you can have your uh, social media things be blue and then you can have your text be white, whatever you want. Or you can delete the fill or turn the fill off and you can get the regular colors of the logos for the social media. So if we hide all the fills, you'll see we got the blue Twitter, the crazy purplish pink Instagram, and then we got the red YouTube. So you can do whatever you want. You can see it's really easy to change. You export it the exact same way. I just showed you how to export the uh, version that you created. You go to composition, add to render queue. Make sure you set it to QuickTime and add that alpha channel and then just hit render and that is pretty much it. That is how you get a rotating social media animation below your webcam for your Twitch streams. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you jump down there, download the template, or at least jump into After Effects, follow the tutorial and make your own one. Once again, if you guys do create anything, you can share it with me on Twitter or you can join the Discord. There's always a Discord link in the description of every single video. You can join our Discord and you can post it in there when you create stuff. And there's a ton of people in there that are willing to give you their feedback and let you know how you did. So make sure you create your own stuff and post it in there. And I will see you guys in the next video video.